This is a letter for the graduates of 2020. Dear graduates of 2020, first of all, congratulations. Finishing school or college is an important feat and it's worth celebrating even if the world seems to be falling apart. You might be wondering, who am I and why am I writing this? Well, I'm a 32-year-old woman who looks back fondly on her days as a student and these are just some of the things I would have liked to hear back then. I remember when sitting through such talks from other people, I often fantasized about giving one myself when I achieved something substantial. And even though I haven't yet, I decided to go for it with this video. Herein lies the first nugget of wisdom I want to offer you. Don't wait for things to be a certain way before you do whatever it is that you want to do. I'm sorry that most of you will spend your summer indoors. The summer that was perhaps supposed to be the last truly stress-free vacation of your lives. I don't say this to intimidate you, but to offer a gentle reminder about the finiteness of time, a concept that I only wish I had better grasped much before it came and hit me in the face when I turned 30. As you get older, I think it will do you well to remember that sometimes, despite your best efforts, your plans will be impeded, much like the current pandemic has impeded the world. I know you may be bored and sad and angry and frustrated and so many other emotions, but I urge you to channel these wisely. Nurture your talents, refine your skills, or pick up new ones. It doesn't have to be serious or hyperproductive. Have fun. Learn how to cook, work out at home. Start something, whether it's a blog or a book, a YouTube channel, or even your own business, selling your art online. It will come in handy because you're stepping into a world at such an uncertain economic time. It's not your fault, but you will probably face your fair share of job insecurity or have to work a job that you hate. You'll be glad to have started something that actually fulfills you and can perhaps be monetized in creative ways. A lot of you are the most creative, sensitive and tuned in young people. Hang on to that. Keep both the child and the student alive within you. School or college has trained you to be part of a system, to take up a vocation and be a productive member of society. But don't let that trap you. You belong to an age where technology is pushing and almost obliterating the boundaries of convention. Use this to your advantage. I'm sure you're fed up of the grown-ups berating you about your dependence on the internet and your smartphone. So flip things around and use innovations innovatively. I know a lot of you may be struggling to express yourselves or even to understand your identities and please know that this is completely okay. You're allowed to be fluid and ever evolving, to experiment with your choices, but again I urge you to do so in ways that are empowering for both yourself and those around you. Of course, people will often judge you, but I hope you'll choose to not judge back and instead go for acceptance and compassion. Given the current situation, with death and distress all around us, it feels necessary to talk about the inevitability of losing people. You lose people, sometimes to death and sometimes to life itself, as everyone gets caught up in their own journeys. You may suffer personal and professional setbacks, failures, heartbreak, illness, accidents, job loss, but no matter how hopeless and painful things may get, please remember that you can make it through. At every juncture, the best way to approach life is through the lens of gratitude. Be aware of your privilege and count your blessings and help whoever you can when you can. At the same time, don't take on the guilt and the burden of solving all the world's problems. As I mentioned already, even in difficult times, you are allowed to seek out joy and celebrate. I suppose all of life is about finding the balance between being compassionate and empathetic while also prioritizing your own happiness and aspirations. You'll soon learn that school didn't teach you some of the really important things like kindness and taxes and how to find the right partner or set healthy boundaries in your relationship or heal generations of trauma. So never look down on those who didn't go to school or seem less articulate. There's something to learn from everyone and I urge you to have the patience to give others a chance to teach you and to show you their light. You too, shine your light and shine it bright. Speak up for yourself and exercise your right to vote if you have it. It's a power that you can wield to change the world. 
Lastly, I just like to remind you that you are inherently capable of doing anything that you set your heart and mind to for the right reasons. When you're confused, listen to your heart, act on it, and take care of it, both emotionally and literally through a balanced diet and exercise. Thanks for listening. Godspeed.